to Can't Leave Biz Ed. Today we are going to work on balancing and transferring objects from one side of our body to the other. So I have these little spiky domes that I'm going to move from my right side to my left side and then back from my left to my right. So we're crossing both directions. Um, you can make this as challenging as you want. You can put your object straight on the floor so you've got further to reach, which makes it the greatest challenge. You can challenge people in your family. You can make a challenge of seeing if you can get them all, all your objects from one side to the other without putting your foot down. You can see if you can, you, you be creative. You can come up with so many things of ways to challenge yourself. You can also make it academic by, if you have different color objects, you can say the colors or spell the colors as you move them from one side to the other. You can challenge yourself to put them in rainbow order. <coughs> You can do math by counting. Um, so you can count by twos, fives, threes, fours, tens, twenties, whatever is a challenge for you. Helps you work on your multiplication table as well. Um, we can also challenge, like I said, family members. So you can see if you can transfer all the objects without putting your foot down and then see if they can do the same. You can challenge it as a time and see who can do it faster without putting their foot down. Lots of ways to challenge things. You're also going to be using lots of muscles when you're doing this. You're actually going to use from the tips of your toes all the way through your core muscle while you're moving your objects from one side to the other. So what we're going to do when we get ready is I'm going to balance on the foot that is the same side as all of my objects. I've chosen, like I said, these dome spikes. You can choose to use um, recycling paper out of your recycle bin. You can use clean socks. You can use toys. You can use can vegetables with your parents' permission, you can use hand weights with your parents' permission, whatever works, whatever you want to make as your challenge. That we're going to go ahead and demonstrate. So I'm going to balance on my right foot, I use my left hand to transfer the objects over, and then I will switch feet and start over again. So I'm going to just use um, calling out the colors. So we're going to go blue, purple, green, so I started with all the cool colors yellow, red, and orange to end with my warm colors. Got to pick that one back up. All right, next, we're going to transfer them back over, and we're going to use math this time, and we're going to count by fives. All right, so I'm going to balance on my left foot, and use my right hand. All right, here we go. Every All muscles engaged. Five. 20, 25, 30. You'll also learn you typically will balance better on one foot over the other. And so when you, once you learn that, then make it a little more challenging on your easier side. So for me, I'm left, left side dominant. So I know I can balance a little better on my left. So I can make it a little more challenging if I wanted to when I transfer objects from the left to the right. So those are some just some fun ideas. Again, you're never too young, you're never too old to work on your balance. So hopefully everyone in your family can participate and challenge each other and see who can do the best. Have fun. Peace out.